tranquil self okay friends see generally before coming quickly into this essay okay i will not be writing the entire essay but i will tell you various aspects you have to address but after i discuss some 10 to 20 aspects of the essay you can arrange them in an order that you like the most okay arrangement of paragraphs arrangement of ideas is completely up to you but i will just tell you different points that you can mention this essay now before starting this essay like how i usually do before every essay i spend three to four minutes in telling you what are the what are the parameters upon which you should write the essay okay remember friends the first parameter is definitely sticking to the topic it is very common not only to the students but also to the faculty to move away from the topic so always you should be within the topic to so stay with the topic stay with the topic friends this is not only about the essay generally you see some of your friends also when they talk something when you are discussing something instead of that they talk something else means they do not know how to sit to a topic they keep on going to some other other things which are not related to this topic so similarly in the essay writing also the evaluator first of all sees in the entire essay all the paragraphs entire thing should be completely related to the topic you should not completely go out of it sometimes if you go out of it you should come back you should know how to come back sometimes some people go out they never come back okay should not do that number two vocabulary is not really that important but if you have very good vocabulary you may get few marks more but don't try for that flowery language vocabulary no, no, no need for that but writing a decent english with simple good grammar simple english with good grammar is essential so keep a note of that language okay then spend much time spend little more time in uh, in you know creating a good introduction good conclusion spend some time for that because it will have an impact on the evaluator who will be evaluating number of uh, sheets <coughs> almost 30 to 35 sheets he evaluates in a day so when the paper comes introduction gives the first impression and first of course first impression is not the only thing they look at but it's better to create a good impact in the introduction that's why try to write a good introduction okay also conclusion so conclusion you can design at the end but introduction please plan in the beginning only introduction okay friends uh, so these are the two things you have to focus on next thing is let us say you have got some 10 to 12 ideas arrange them in an order because many people do not know how to arrange things in order not only in the essay in the movie also when you see a movie some directors will have very good songs very good fights very good emotions will be there some good scenes will be there but they cannot arrange them in order in the beginning of movie fight will come immediately song will come then suddenly sentimental scene will come again fight will come understand same scenes only if arrange in a better order you will get better audience essay also spend some time quickly write down quickly in the rough paper see always when you take the essay question paper once you decide upon essay spend 15 to 20 minutes in outlining the most important points in the rough paper at the end of the essay booklet they give you you will have a rough paper some three to four rough sheets will be there in that you quickly write down the important points you want to mention in the essay while making the rough work don't think about the order just randomly write all the points that comes across your mind but after making those points spend some time some three to four minutes time in arranging them first i will write this point then this point i will connect these two points the connections will be there now work on that because that continuation is very important not only in essay tomorrow when you become a bureaucrat is ips or whatever you have to give some reports on some issues happening in your district or state country whatever in those reports also continuity is very important something which is not continuous irritates any evaluator in movies also when you see a movie which are not continuous irritates you of course there are some movies which are intentionally not continuous like you know memento memento movie some other movies but the style of the movie is called creative in the essays also if you have creativity you can write creative answers also i will tell you what are creative answers in due course of time so for continuation sometimes you may not know what is continuous so what you will do is after writing one paragraph in the next paragraph simply mention also nevertheless however along with this use those words so at least it appears to the evaluator that you are writing a continuous essay at least okay okay so these are the uh, most important parameters now other than this these parameters are not very important but try to follow them whenever whenever possible first of all 
friends don't write only facts but you have to write some facts essay should have some facts based on those facts you tell your opinion friends your opinion should always be based on the facts not only this outside of some people will have an opinion he is a very bad guy um, this is a very good prime minister my neighbor is a very good lady but what is there what is evidence for that they will not have any evidence that kind of uh, without basing on any evidence without basing on any facts if you tell a opinion that opinion is invalid not only essay writing in mains answer writing also in the ups interview also before telling your opinion tell two to three evidences facts or statistics for example if you want to tell that in india in india the judiciary is working very slowly most of the cases are not solved how can you tell that based on for example national crime um, bureau record these many crime cases are there out of the total 2% are solved 90% are still unsolved the, most of the cases are in the court you have to mention those statistics and facts okay but friends always remember write opinion some people never write opinion only facts they will not get mocks as a upsc aspirant they expect opinions from you also friends remember towards the uh, conclusion give some suggestions you are trying trying for a high level job in the bureaucracy suggestions you should be able to give suggestions to government whatever okay fourth one friends you are writing an examination to go into the government not into the corporate sector so write some government steps any essay write some government steps government policies government initiatives government steps policy initiatives acts constitution of india is also one kind of act only so mention those things okay other thing is friends if possible if possible try to write more dimensions in the essay more dimensions i mean some historical dimension historical is something which you can definitely write for any essay any essay historical background is very easy but geographical aspect very few essays possible for example the education and health sector geographical you can say which states have better health care infrastructure or international which countries have better better infrastructure of health or some statistics like that economic angle you can write gdp economics angle you can write environmental aspect also you can write in some essays internal security just to take upsc syllabus whatever topics are there in the syllabus every topic you can write some two or three paragraphs okay but don't write too many dimensions some four to five dimensions that's all don't see anything don't overdo overdoing anything is uh, not accepted in essay any idea restricted to the limited uh, you know framework so dimensions also you can write also friends current affairs Cur why current affairs shall be mentioned in the essay because it gives a kind of relevance to the essay any essay or writing if you do not mention current affairs the present relevance cannot be shown anybody who shows the pre pre present relevance of any essay most you can show it some aspects you cannot show if you, if you can show you will definitely have an added advantage in your essay you'll get more marks so try to include these things okay now as uh, uh, keeping these things in the mind let us come to this essay this essay i call it as uh, i call this essay as uh, a philosophical ethical insightful essay in upsc some essays are current affairs based some essays are highly factual opinion based some essays are philosophical ethical type these days what is happening is in the choice of section a section b they are giving section b they are giving only philosophical essays so if any student thinks that i will not prepare philosophical essays i'll prepare only health education environment women security if he goes to the exam among four questions he will not have any choice all are this kind of questions only so you should practice this kind of questions for this kind of questions preparation is not required there is no book that you read understand and write the essay generally you have to listen to the classes write essays every month write two or three essay share with your friends that's the only way you can do okay now let's come to this essay okay friends so okay now i am a student now i, I am in the ups exam center i saw the essay what is essay what is essay mindful, mindful manifesto is the catalyst to a tranquil self is essay now time is uh, say some um, uh, 9 am within 20 minutes i should write the complete framework now i am going to do that now i'll write the framework complete framework first means what are the various points i can mention i'll write it quickly then next one hour i'll write the essay the tells i'll show first what i will do is there are two types of essay questions one type is in the essay question there are some critical terms some essay questions will have some critical terms will be there and in some essays other type of essays normal essay for example um, uh, about uh, health is wealth education policy of india is not enough in this kind of essays there is no term 
Education, everybody knows. Health, everybody knows. Nothing to explain. In this kind of essays, nothing to explain because it's very clear. All the terms are very clear. But in this kind of essay, where more terms are there, my suggestion is in the beginning, introduction itself, clearly explain those terms. If you know, if you do not know, don't explain. Start with something else. But if you know, explain them. For example, here a lot of terms are there. One is mindful manifesto. But see, without explaining the terms also, you can start, you can still get very good marks. But if you explain the terms, evaluate and understand, okay, this guy clearly understands the, understands the terms in the essay, so he can get more marks. Some kind of feeling will be there. Mindful manifesto, okay, is a catalyst. Is a catalyst to tranquil self. Is a catalyst to tranquil self. These are the topics. Now, friends, see. Generally, my suggestion is first start with one kind of uh, uh, example or current of a small story and then write definition. Instead of direct start definition, write on story. First, now I am not going to explain the order of the essay. I will quickly tell various points. First point, second point. Finally, I will tell you how to arrange them. First, let me define the terms. While coming to the essay, first I will not start with different terms. I will start with the example only. But now I am just initial writing. What are the terms? What is a manifesto? Generally, manifesto means what we know is politicians uh, before elections, they have a manifesto. Manifesto of TDP, manifesto of Congress, manifesto. Manifesto means any political party or any individual also, or any country, nation, or any global body, anybody who clearly tells their ideas, tells their opinion, tells their view, tells their plan. See, we want to do these things in the next few years. For example, international organization is there. For example, India only health department is there of uh, some state government health department. They will say in the next five years we want to do in this way. It can be anything, not only political party. For example, I am there. Let us say I, I became a um, district collector of a district. Now I will clearly mention everybody. See, uh, my first principle is honesty, uh, no corruption. If anybody is found to taking bribe, I will take action on them. I will make it very clear to everybody. I make I make it very clear to everybody that these are my opinions, these are my views. This is my plan of action. My most important focus is transportation because in this district, the biggest problem is accessibility. Or in this district, education is very good. I, I will not touch it. I will make it clear. So everybody knows that, okay, this is what is going to happen. So manifesto is expression of the opinion, views and planning for everybody to know. Or for at least for you to know yourself and also everybody to know. That is called manifesto. Manifesto. Now what is mindful manifesto? Mindful means thoughtful. Means preparing a plan, preparing a manifesto with full knowledge on the topic, with full knowledge on the subject, with complete awareness of what you are doing. Having gathered all the evidence and facts with that, if you make a manifesto, it's called mindful manifesto. For example, I am a district collector. Now I want to make a plan for next two years of my term here. I will first gather all the facts, details, statistics of transportation, agriculture, health, education, women's safety, all these things. I will collect and based on that, I will come to understand, study those things. With complete awareness of all the things, I will make a manifesto. That is called mindful manifesto. Without any kind of uh, thoughtfulness, generally if I make a plan, any district I go, I will focus on education. Any district I will go, I will focus on health. That does not uh, really help. Okay. So mindful means with complete knowledge, awareness, with complete uh, information on the stat statistic facts, making a manifesto. It's called mindful manifesto. Okay. Mindful manifesto is a catalyst to tranquil self. Catalyst in chemistry, what is catalyst? In any chemical reaction, catalyst does not participate in the reaction, but it will fasten the reaction. Reaction will be speeded up, sped up. Reaction will be sped up. Okay. Similarly, he, this mindful manifesto will act as a catalyst. Will, will means that mindful manifesto is not an ingredient it's not a part of achieving this one but helps in achieving this one it helps achieving what achieving tranquil self now self means it can be one person self or one country self one family self self means anything tranquility means generally see tranquility is a word which you might have observed in history many times tranquility means peace peace and tranquility in constitution of india also some supreme court judgments also peace and tranquility tranquility means complete inner peace stable means there are no disturbances inside you inside a person it may be inside a country also inside a country no disturbances peacefully a country's uh, governance is going on everything is going on peacefully in a family very peaceful family or i am a very peaceful person no disturbance inside me that is called tranquil self okay so these all these things i'll explain so first explanation of terms
second now i think i i wanted some example some example i want to write some example for example maybe gandhi gandhi is one person whose examples are always relevant everybody gives importance to gandhi's ideas in any essay any answer if you mention gandhi they'll accept it generally okay gandhi is most accepted person and gandhi is most loved by many indians and gandhi has got very good uh, integrity honesty means he is that's why he is uh, considered to be the greatest in this generation so gandhi you can say see everybody wants to fight for india's independence everybody it can be uh, the uh, ins indian national congress it can be some other in independent persons or other independent organizations who fought for independence but gandhi clearly mentioned that in our struggle for independence we have to follow honesty integrity satyagraha non violence principles he clearly expressed them that's his manifesto so you say that gandhi ji's manifesto for the for the freedom struggle clearly expressed that they want to follow non violence satyagraha honesty etc because of that our national freedom fighting was somewhat peaceful than other countries where they waged a war where they lost many lives india also we lost some lives but it is comparatively less why because gandhi's manifesto is like that his policy is like that okay that is one point the second point is when any freedom struggle if you have a clear strategy of what you want to do you can do it in an organized and peaceful way if you keep on changing it without a manifesto this year non violence next year go for a fight next year keep quiet means without a manifesto without a planning if you keep on changing your action every year in the freedom struggle then freedom struggle cannot go in a peaceful way peaceful does not mean the non violence peaceful way means organized way it will be disturbed with that example you can start so you can initially start the example and then if you want to define the terms define the terms otherwise don't define it up to you okay so gans example i'll write that to have freedom struggle i'll write freedom struggle okay then friends then in the essay somewhere i'll explain about a independent person my idea is one or two paragraphs I'll write about independent person few few paragraphs I'll write about a country then family i'll tell you okay now i'll write about a person an individual i'll write about an individual i would say any person who has a proper planning of what he wants to do it can be a district collector it can be a student preparing for examination having a proper plan a manifesto of what he wants to do or it can be a father of a family who has a proper plan of what he wants to do the family what he wants to means how does he want to improve your children or take care of his children a clear manifesto clear principles planning if it is there coming to individual person such a person can prepare the examination in a peaceful way without disturbances or he can be a good district collector he can uh, organize all his duties in the district in a peaceful way or a, a, he can be internally stable because he is very clear of what he wants to do so he is very clear so he will be internally stable he will be emotionally stable any external disturbances may not be able to really disturb him so much why because he has got a proper plan manifesto what he wants to do that too it's a mindful plan mindful means is very clear that see i will follow this path in spite of what all disturbances in spite of whatever uh, outside disturbances or emotional disturbances i get i will follow this plan that is called mindful manifesto such a person even if he gets outside disturbances or emotional uh, disturbances he will be able to balance them he will be able to avoid them he will be able to follow the plan and he can achieve whatever he wants to achieve so in that way it at an individual person i will write some philosophically spiritually also i can write for example i can write about gautam buddha gautam buddha is very clear of how he wants to lead the remaining part of his life after he got the moksha after he got that after he got from the bodhi tree uh, he is very clear that he wants to go out teach what he learned and and he never thought that my teaching should actually convert the people he wants to teach that's all whether they accept they don't accept he realizes something he want to explain his realization to everybody he want to explain his realization to everybody in that way he wants to move forward is very clear that's why buddha is able to lead a peaceful life somebody says that somebody said that on the deathbed also he died very peacefully and is able to achieve his plan of spreading peace throughout the world so about a person you can write okay you can give a, not only buddha you can give any other example also if you have uh, any other examples you can give many exam many people are there like this not only buddha okay about a person i'll write then in the essay in the essay writing i will try to see one of the 
things I believe in essay writing is whatever words are given in the essay, you know, those words you have to keep on using them, keep on using them. Catalyst, somewhere you have to bring that word. In the essay, somewhere catalyst, catalyst has to come. Mindful manifesto, it has to come somewhere. Mindful, mindful, manifesto, manifesto, like that. Tranquil selfie, it has to keep on repeating. So, you have to keep on repeating those words again and again in the essay. Only then, the evaluator feels that, okay, this essay is very relevant to the topic given. He is sticking to the essay. That feel you will get. Instead of using the word peace, you use uh, tranquil, tranquility. Instead of using the word planning strategy, use manifesto, like that. Just keep, keep using the same words. Second thing, while writing the essay always, after two paragraphs, again read the question, again write the essay. Again read the question because if you read the question only once and start writing the essay, somewhere in between there is a chance that you will go away from the essay. So look at the essay, it will bring you back onto the track. There is a track, you should go on the track. Okay. Now, that is what I will tell you is, to achieve peace, to achieve inner peace, you can write the movie of Kung Fu Panda also. See, in essay there is no restriction about movie you should not, nothing like that. Movies also you can write. Because movie is right now a major thing, Indian cinema is a major thing in lives of several youth. So you can bring that. Kung Fu Panda I have seen. Kung Fu Panda, inner peace they talk about. Anyhow, you can write about that uh, scene, that movie, one paragraph you can write to explain the importance. Because this essay, Mindful Manifesto is a character triangle self, is not asking you to write from a particular sector. It's open-ended question, open-ended question. You can add anything. So try to bring in the movies, your own ideas, your life, Gandhi's life, India, World War, whatever. Keep on bringing. So that the evaluator feels that you are thinking very broadly. You are not confined to a textbook or subject. You are very broad. You can bring the general things also into subject. That kind of feeling shall be created to the evaluator while writing an essay. Okay? That's why I keep it very simple and write it very generally. That's why it's called general essay. Okay, so I would actually include any movie. It can be Kung Fu Panda. Kung Fu Panda people can understand. If you write some local movie, Rangulo, Rangila, something, they will not understand that. Kung Fu Panda is something everybody knows, possibly. Okay. Anyhow, for example, do you know about Nelson Mandela? Uh, what is it? South African president. Nelson Mandela, he was in prison for several years, but he was very, he was happy in the prison also, he was happy. After he came out also, he, he, he never wanted to take revenge on the whites in South Africa. He actually wanted a rainbow country where whites and blacks can stay together because he has a very clear plan of how a country shall be. According to him, in a country, whites should accept blacks, blacks should accept whites. So even if he's thrown in the prison by the whites, he was in the prison, thrown in prison by the white people for a very long time. After coming out, still he is able to consistently maintain his manifesto, mindful manifesto that all should remain together. When he became president, he got a chance to expel the white people out of the country, to throw them in the prisons, to put cases on them. He has got a chance. He never did that. Now did that. That's why South Africa was able to run as a peaceful country, developed very well. He's a beginning, I mean, after God independence, he started the country with a mindful manifesto. That's why South Africa right now is one of the most developed countries under Africa. You should write that. Friends, this is what I call as international dimension. International dimension means, in any essay, don't just stick to your country. Write about other countries, South Africa, African country, Nelson Mandela, write about some other people. You should show the evaluator that your mind is not limited to a country, region, caste, religion, or subject, or book, or school, whatever. You are very open-minded. You can bring anything into the paper. That kind of feeling can be can be given to the evaluator only if you write this kind of examples. Okay? What is the movie, Nelson Mandela's movie? Famous movie. Invictus. Invictus. Invictus movie, you can see when you get time. See, see those kind of movies whenever you get time. It will, you know, bring creativity back into you. Okay? Invictus. But you know not to write about the movie in the in the exam. Write about Nelson Mandela only. Because real story, you know. What is there in the movie? Real story it is, okay? Friends, this is called international dimension. Write about South Africa. How South Africa has got a mindful manifesto. Write like this. See, South Africa, after it got independence, Nelson Mandela became the president. He had a mindful manifesto of how to run the country. He wanted a rainbow country where different races, ethnicities can stay together can together run the country without any um, with, with secularism with secularism because of this the country is able to achieve a tranquil country is able to achieve tran uh, tranquility and this tranquility was achieved very quickly because of Nelson Mandela's mindful manifesto right like that 
you have to basically impress the evaluator same time you should be general okay this is about uh, the Nelson Mandela first then you should tell that somewhere in the should tell that see to achieve a peaceful country mindful manifesto alone is not enough you require a lot of ingredients for that for a peaceful country only manifesto is not enough you require resources you require skill development you require technology you require a lot of things mindful manifesto is a catalyst that's all it's a catalyst just with the manifesto sit like this the country will not run understand so that also you should be able to mention you should mention that mindful manifesto is just a ca it's a catalyst so what you are telling here here you are whatever statement is given in the essay you are trying to observe the statement from different sides you are saying that see this is just a catalyst it's not the actual it's not it's not enough it's just a catalyst that also you should mention so you are critically explaining the statement of the essay in all possible dimensions okay so mention that it is a catalyst my dear friend but not the only ingredient of uh, tranquil self okay for example any person wants to be peaceful just having a plan is not enough you should basically have some traits you should be honest person hard working person you should have dedication you should have integrity without all those things generally if you have a well planning for examination you are not working hard not buying any books how can you get a rank understand that's what you should tell, explain so you should be sometimes critical about that okay then this is a catalyst then friends see this is how you should uh, work in the first 20 minutes when when you write upsc essay exam first 20 minutes you have to write like this only different things i want to address okay now now let us come to a nation let us come to a country let us come to india come to india uh, because you are writing the civil examination it's better that you try to connect anything of the essay with the national development with how the country runs india you bring in india government these things you have to bring into the essay but i'm tell you if a student does not bring india into the essay he writes only philosophical essay peace self stability emotion intelligence tranquility gautam buddha spiritual if you read all these things that does not mean he will get less marks he also may get reasonable good marks because it's his style of writing essay nobody told you upas never tells you you should write national development you should write current affairs they never told you like that but if you write that better for you that's all okay if somebody a person of literature in literature if you can write a very good essay with good english only about spirituality and all these things but if it is very coherent very good he'll get very good marks okay so uh, anyhow this one this is how i will write i'll bring in the country now what i will say india also for tranquility for tranquil self not only entire india for peaceful agriculture industries service sector infrastructure health education means in every sector if you want the sector to go in a peaceful way without disturbances you should have a mindful manifesto and i will tell some of the mindful manifestos made by different departments and ministries of india for example i would say uh, take science technology in science and technology as india is a large country science and technology should be used in all sectors for women for physical handicapped for the old people safety women security for health improving healthcare science is important for educational science is important skill development industries employment everywhere science is important science and technology is ever pervading ever pervasive it, it is there in all sectors so you should have a, pro, a mindful planning of how to use science technology in india in the next coming few years so for that the government of india made national science technology innovation policy 2013 of course 2020 also they made a draft policy the draft is there you can also mention about draft national science technology innovation policy 2020 also you can mention 13 policy is there 20 draft policy is there you can mention so in the essay you will show some government act you know government acts government policies you have to mention you have to mention okay for example one point is constitution constitution of india another point this point i'll, I'll continue another point is constitution also you should write you should say constitution of india is nothing but a clear declaration clear manifesto how the country has to run 
and our constitution has brought the best things from different constitutions of the world not only ambedkar we are ambedkar but many people have read other constitutions of the world they brought the best points made in the constitution you should write that you say the con the constitutional fathers and mothers also want right constitutional fathers and mothers they brought in the best points from different uh, um, countries constitutions and include them in the uh, our india in the constitution so that it, it became a wonderful or a mindful manifesto because the above untouchability right to life is there in that government cannot actually take away the life of anybody in a, in, in whatever way they want and how the parliament has to run how states have to run so that parliament should not be able to dominate the state governments how, how they have to run during emergency what we have to do uh, what election commission has to do who is cag how the protection for scs and sts everything is there in the constitution of india linguistic minorities what the what the government has to do dpsps what people have to do fundamental uh, duties what people have to do everything is there so it's a mindful manifesto because of constitutional india today is ha is able to run very peacefully tranquility we achieved because constitutionally you should mention that so you should show your knowledge of constitution also in one or two paragraphs bring that it will be impressive okay constitution he wrote very good he he understood that tranquility in a very broad way they feel like that okay then come into the country write some policies you are reading read, read newspapers now bring in something everything you cannot cover something for example you tell that you tell that uh, national science technology policy it aims to achieve gender equality because in technology innovation science most men are there women are not there most men are there research development science is through all these things so you have to bring more women also into science second thing science shall be used not only for infrastructure or um, uh, space it should be used for social development in the healthcare simple innovations can actually be make healthcare better simple innovations can make education more accessible to nooks and corners of the nation you understand education like that agriculture how you have to make uh, some simple tools or implements using science technology innovation so that uh, the technology becomes affordable for farmers farmers should be able to use technology to improve agriculture you understand so in the social growth in the social growth engine in the social growth how science technology should be this is all mentioned in the national science technology innovation policy 13 20 also both mentioned okay so you mention few things like that similarly you say that india is basically agricultural country gdp wise agriculture contribution is very less less than 20% gdp wise but number of people involved are more than 50% in the agriculture and allied activities allied services okay so you say india is agricultural country many people are dependent directly and indirectly on the agriculture income of india so india should have a mindful manifesto india should have already india developed a few policies for example doubling of farmers income one one policy of india doubling of farmers income by doubling of farmers income by 2022 but it takes some time to do is not possible it will take some more time for that for this for achieving this one what has government made national agriculture policy recent farm bills also will come into agriculture policy only farm bills also you can mention them how uh, farm bills is trying to provide farmers with better revenues removing the middlemen providing them better better uh, you know avenue to directly make contract with some uh, entrepreneurs are uh, making them ready to sell the product anywhere by bypassing the apmcs no need to follow apmcs in that way there is also national agriculture policy only similarly national agriculture insurance scheme how to protect the small farmers and also uh, soil health cards also science and technology in agriculture so uh, like this like that agriculture also you can explain some policy in agriculture or manufacturing also you can explain national manufacturing policy national manufacturing policy 2011 i think national manufacturing policy 2011 tells that in the india's gdp manufacturing sector is contributing only 16% you have to increase it to 25% by 2025 so that more people get employed almost 100 million people shall be employed means 100 million employment shall be created in the next 15 years the target that's a vision that's a plan a mindful manifesto and the india's manufacturing sector the policy says that 
MSME shall be encouraged. Medium, small and micro enterprises shall be encouraged because most people are, are working in, in that sector only. How they should be given marketing support, skill development support, investment support, how they should be given all these things. This is all mentioned. So that is a mindful manifesto for manufacturing sector. So that the manufacturing can go in a tranquil way, peaceful way, without any disturbances. So that any external disturbances, see, you have to support your argument. You have to say, China is dumping a lot of cheap goods into India. USA is uh, exporting a lot of cheap goods to India. For example, solar panels are there. A USA solar panels are cheap than Indian solar panels because of which India's companies are not improving. So India's companies are getting competition from those countries. So if you want to face those disturbances and still run peacefully, peacefully means without companies, companies getting closed, without losing employment, if you want to go, then the only way is you have a mindful manifesto of the national manufacturing, what you have to do in the next few years. So, you have to mention national manufacturing policy, science and technology policy, doubling of some government schemes you write. If you want to write a broad scheme, anybody tell me a broad scheme? Tell me broad about entire India. A vision for entire India, not just agriculture like that. National education policy. Education policy is good, but national education policy is only for education sector. Education sector, I am talking about all sectors. Combined one vision is there, prepared by Niti Aayog. What is that? What is it? Vision 70, 75. New India strat see Niti Ayog, friends, Niti Ayog, Niti Ayog prepared strategy for new India. I would suggest all of you to read through this document after you go home today. Just read through it like an like a storybook. No need to buy hard anything. Strategy for new India at the rate of 75. So what India have to do in the next uh, coming years, long term goal, this uh, Niti Aayog made this strategy not only agriculture, infrastructure, agriculture, manufacturing, service sector, tourism, travel, education, health, everything, everything. For example, if you take infrastructure, they made a plan for how to invest in the energy infrastructure, aviation infrastructure, port infrastructure. Surface transportation, railway, roadway, surface transportation infrastructure, everything, housing infrastructure, housing, means entire they discussed. So, but you cannot write the entire essay on this one. If you want to write this, you actually can write a hard page on this. But you should know how to write all important points, finish in two paragraphs. Take any big thing, write one or two paragraphs, leave it. That's important. You understand? Some people take one thing. Three pages they will write, three pages. Fifty percent of essay on the same topic, they will not get good marks. Quickly change the dimensions, quickly change the topics. Single topic, if you stick to, if you stick to a single topic, it will not become essay writing, it becomes uh, mains answer writing. Mains answer is single question, two pages only now. This is different, okay? If you observe carefully friends, you might observe, the topic is a philosophical topic. Mindful manifesto is a catalyst to tranquil self. But we are bringing everything, current affairs. So, in UPSC, whatever prepared from geography, history, economy, current affairs, whatever essay they come, bring it to that. You should be able to bring it. You should not be afraid. Mindful manifesto, tranquil, peace, self, this is all about uh, spirituality, all about uh, ethics. Uh, now I read all current affairs only, what to do? No. You just bring them into the essay. Okay? Then, in that way, uh, somebody said national education policy. That also you can write. National education policy is also national environmental policy also is also clearly is a mindful manifesto only because they have because why mindful manifesto because they collected the evidence of last 70 years how in India education system has become something of cramming by heart by education no practical orientation most of the students are not getting any skills just by hearting mere facts running behind the marks the examinations are not testing the personality so they understood all this so keeping all this evidence they created a policy for next uh, many, many years to come of how to completely change the education ecosystem of India how the marking system should change what kind of curriculum should be there teacher training teachers are important if teachers themselves are from the old education system how can they create a new education system they are from the old system now they will follow old pattern only so you have to take the teacher 
and train them, completely change them, so that they come out with a completely new way of thinking. That is very important in the education system. Teacher training, okay? Those things you mentioned in the national education policy. No, I want to stop. I want to stop this year. Enough of education, health, science. Okay, leave it. Leave it here. Then coming to history. Some history. Buddha we wrote. Gandhi we wrote. Nelson Mandela history. That's a history only. Internationalism. Now write some other aspect. Economic, for example. Write write the economic vision of India. For example, you can write about 1991 new economic policy of India. Friends, see, it is actually a mindful manifesto. Why I will tell you? The entire world is changing. Entire world is getting globalized, liberalized. MNCs are coming. Private sector is taking over, creating uh, more jobs, bringing technology. In such a global scenario, how India can be? I, all companies should be run by the government only. Everything should be by the government only. Such kind of mentality will not work out. So India want to liberalize. De-reservation of public sector. De-reservation means, friends. The reservation of public sector means previously before 991 policy before this LP, the actually is called as a, actually hmm, before the LPG reforms 1991 new economic policy is all about LPG reforms before that in India telecommunication several things are in the under government only after that they de-reserved they gave everything to private companies government also can be there private will be there those days only bsl was there now vodafone airphone geo everything is there right airtel sorry so but now, now also still atomic energy railways these two are government only otherwise remaining all privatized complete privatized okay so why that why i'm calling it as a mindful manifesto because india understood the reality you cannot now keep on continuing with the same old methods so you have to liberalize, you have to privatize, you have to globalize. That is a mindful manifesto. Mindful because you understood the reality of the outside. See, I'm not talking about manifesto. Mindful, for example, sometimes some manifestos are mindless manifestos. If you want, you can give two examples also. For example, this state government followed this policy, which was a disaster. Because of the policy, it lost several lives, whatever you can say. You can name some country somewhere, some country. For example, I would say Pakistan because they accepted many people okay pakistan's manifesto of religious islamic nation pakistan's idea of developing an islamic nation uh, no tolerance towards others practices others culture because of that pakistan is now completely disturbed country even today pakistan is not independent country till 1998 it was dependent on usa from 2000 depend on china Tomorrow it will depend on somebody else. It never is independent country. Inside Pakistan there is no economic stability. There is no peace. There is, there is no happiness to the people. It is completely a failed country. Pakistan is a failed country. Completely failed state. It is actually accident of everybody. Why? Because they have a mindless manifesto. They also have a manifesto. What they have to do. But it is completely impractical manifesto. It is not mindful. So in the essay writing, to give import, to, to explain the greatness of one thing, you should tell opposite to us also. See, this is also possible. A manifesto which is mindless is also possible. Only when you tell about that, you know importance of this one. For example, let us say there is somebody in your life, one girlfriend, somebody is there. You will know her importance only when she is not there. And till then you will think that she is not important. Or let us say parents, or let us say brother. You will know their importance only when they are not there. Similarly, you will know the importance of mindful manifesto of India when you understand the mindless manifesto of Pakistan. Understand? Okay, like that you explain about Pakistan also. So this way the evaluator will think that okay, this guy is explaining opposite to essay also. But don't write complete opposite essay. Some one or two paragraphs. One or two opposite to essay. Okay. Then friends, anybody, I will give 10 seconds time. Anybody has some other ideas, tell me. Let me know. Very good. Actually, that's a very good point. You have to definitely write that point. Without that point, you should not end the essay also. Because it is a global plan. Till now I am telling only India, Pakistan, South Africa like this. He is telling a global plan. The world, United Nations, United Nations has designed sustainable development goals. Before that one were there? Millennium development goals. But leave it. Now sustainable development goals. I think 17 goals are there, right? Uh, now, so see friends, 
sustainable development goals is actually a broad targets so it means i mean yearly targets are there 10 years goal is also there to achieve those goals what steps we have to follow is also mentioned broadly mentioned but every country has to customize them every country is different every country's laws acts are different so they have to take the sdg goal customize follow it so sdg is a mindful manifesto because the goals are designed by observing the problems of the world problems of hunger problem of poverty problems of gender inequality the problem of uh, um, de uh, degrading environment degrading ecosystem the problems in governance they understood all these things by understanding all these things the world has a lot of problems but they have taken seven, 17 major areas those 17 areas they made a mindful manifesto which everybody has to follow so that the entire world can be peaceful here what uh, mr vinay is doing is Vinay is Vinay only, no? What Vinay is doing is, tranquil self is there, no? That self means not only a person, enter humanity. Imagining that humanity is there only on the earth, let us say, enter humanity. Enter humanity, SDGs. The enter humanity will at least go closer to the tranquil self because of following these things, okay? That way you can mention, very good. Then similarly, you can mention some international institutions, organizations, yeah. which what? Yeah. Nam you can mention because you are from India, no? You are from USA, you should not mention Nam. Okay? Nam 2.0 is also there. Revamping the Nam. Okay? Why? Because any country, if you are under the control, or if you, any country, independent country, following USA, following USSR, or following China, if you follow other country, you can never be independent. Every country is unique. They have their own problems, own difficulties, own kind of people, own historical background, own culture, own geography, right and everything. Okay? So everything own. So based on that, you have to come up with your own strategy. You cannot follow USA or USSR. So what Nehru said, not only Nehru, some other countries also involved in this one, Indonesia, Egypt, these countries, they, fo they founded NAM, Non-Alignment Movement, means every country should be independent. We should not follow any one country. We should not rally behind somebody else. That's the idea of NAM, which is opposed by USA and USR, both. Okay? You can tell about how this organization will help, in, help every country in achieving peace, tranquility. See, in SA rating, one question will be there. You should not always try to find answer for the question. This is not maths. Maths means you should find answer to the question. Here what you can do now? You have some, some other point. You make that point answer to this question. Some point you have got. Some question is there. Somehow make that point as an answer to this question. That's why short is easy. Maths means you cannot do such kind of nonsense. Pure technical. If you know you can answer, otherwise leave that's all. Okay? So may exploit this uh, gray area. You have this gray area essay rating. Exploit this. Make use of this. Okay? Anyhow, friends, now I wrote some points. I wrote some 10 points, 12 points. Generally, I will write 10 to 12 points only. I will try to ensure that historical background, international relations, global thing, some economic thing is over, some political thing, political constitution of India is over. Try to, for environment is there. You can write environment policy also. You can say that the entire world is going towards uh, uh, global warming or uh, climate change to stop that to stop that what is there globally Rio summit what is it national what they have done sustainable development actually sustainable development term also came at the time only 1992 Rio Earth summit you know Rio Earth summit recently the Paris deal also the Paris climate conference also you can mention all those things you can write about the Montreal protocol you can write about Cartagena protocol, Kyoto protocol, about the environment, about all these things you can write, okay? For example, you can mention what are the uh, what are the nationally determined contribution. India has proposed the nationally determined contribution in the Paris 2015 conference. India said that by 2045 we will achieve this much of forest land. You know all these things, right? So you can mention those things also. Means you take environment as a thing. You tell that humanity can be peaceful only if environment is conserved. So regarding that, many organizations are working. Even within India also, National Action Plan for Climate Change. National Action Plan for Climate India has developed a national climate change. Under this National Action Plan, climate change, many steps are there. But you, you should not at all, you should not write all those things in the essay. Just mention, we have developed this one. Such we have got some determined contributions and the Paris Conference, Rio Earth Summit. You just mention them, write one or two lines. 
If you explain them completely, enter SA will become environment SA. This is not environment SA, this is uh, some other SA. Okay? Like that, some international organizations, environment, uh, international political systems, international independent organizations, you can discuss all those things. Okay? Okay, friends, now let us stop it here. Always remember one thing if you keep on writing, you can write till next year also. Okay? So you have to stop it somewhere. In the real UPS essay also, take 20 minutes, write 10 points, stop it there. If you keep on brainstorming, enter three hours will brainstorming only. Those many points will be there. Stop it somewhere. Okay? And always remember, 30, 40 points should not write. Every paragraph one point if you write, it will become like a kachida or kichdi, whatever. Kachida means, kichdi means you can eat, kachida means you have to throw. But the point is, you know, too many points will actually spoil the essay. So, put some 10 to 12 good points. Each point elaborate beautifully. Good example. Write two, three paragraphs. Finish the essay. Finish the essay. You should know how to stop the essay. Not only how to start. You should know how to stop the essay. Okay? So, these 12 points, how will you arrange? Now, come to the arrangement points. How do you... This is the last thing. First thing is... In the rough... What I have done is rough work only. Rough work. What are the various points? Now I am fearing it. Yes, I will arrange the, how I arrange the points. I will first start with Gandhiji. I will always start with Gandhiji. Because it gives some kind of impact to me also, to evaluate also. Okay? I told you example of Gandhiji and freedom struggle. I will explain. In the, in the example only I will tell Gandhiji has got a very clear planning of how to struggle for, how to fight for independence. So, because of the clear planning, he is able to run the campaign or is able to run the entire nation, I mean able to run the entire freedom struggle of independence within the Indian National Congress with a very good following in a peaceful way and achieve independence. Of course, Gandhi is not the only person to achieve independence, many will work around that, generally write like that, okay. So, this, this clearly shows how a man, man, mindful manifesto will work as a catalyst to achieve any peaceful uh, peaceful thing okay like that in the first paragraph only i will write an example through the example evaluate will understand okay this guy understood the entire question that's why within one paragraph you will explain the actual example then i will come to then i will come to defining the terms then i will come to defining terms i will define i will say mindful is this manifesto catalyst is this one in one paragraph i'll explain what i feel about each term so evaluator feel okay this guy knows all the terms very well if you do not know the terms leave second paragraph go to next third paragraph there is see in essay writing there is no compulsion that you definitely have to mention this you definitely have to nothing like that wherever you are strong in wherever you are very good at show only those things wherever you are weak hide them hide your weaknesses expose your strengths Definitely should follow this necessary rating. Okay. Now, friends, then I would say self is self can be a person, self can be a family, self can be a family, or anyhow I have this one, let me use this one. Self can be a person, self can be a family. Uh, self can be a nation, a state, self can be a state, country, a nation or self can be entire world. That I will initially I will make it very clear that see according to me self can be anything. After making clear then I will go one by one. Then next paragraph I will write about Gautam Buddha. I will write about a honest IS officer. Friends an honest IS officer is very peaceful. Even if he is transferred, he, even if he is uh, pressurized by ministers whatever, Inside himself is very clear. This is what I want to do. This is this is what I'll follow. I'll follow it. In spite of all disturbances, he'll always be very calm and very composed and very clear of what he wants to. So, an example of honest IS officer, an example of Gautam Buddha, about an independent person. How can you achieve tranquil self? Then come to a nation, country. In the country, mention about all those things I mentioned now. Infrastructure policy, uh, manufacturing policy, agriculture. So these are all manifestos. Then I write about the constitution of India. I write about constitution of India. How constitution is manifesto? Then I will give example of uh, Nelson Mandela. This is about other country. International. South Africa. Then I will write opposite. Then I will write about Pakistan. How Pakistan has a mindless manifesto. It has a plan. What is this plan? To, to break India. Bre breaking India is their main plan actually. 
They say that you have to, uh, India has to die with a thousand uh, cuts. With thousand cuts, you have to kill India. This is also manifesto, kind of plan for them. Okay. So, uh, write about that. Then, you write about this is write about what is the catalyst. What is the catalyst? How it is just a catalyst? For that, you have to give proof. A student preparing for the examination, only having a planning is not enough. You should have hard work, dedication, determination. You should have the right resources, books, guidance, strategy. Everything you should have. Not only planning. You should mention that. Okay. Then you write about. Then write about. Uh, uh, he said no. Vinay, about the international things. Write about sustainable development goal. Write about the. Uh, Paris Climate Conference, Rio Earth Summit, write about the um, uh, other protocols, climatic protocols, whatever. Okay, write about those things. Then finally, now come to conclusion. Anything you left? Anything you know. So, again, as you are writing towards your writing, other countries writing economic, geography, history, agriculture, everything, here on agriculture will come. You write all those things. Then conclusion, how to conclude now? Conclusion actually, don't complicate anything. There's a famous saying, no. Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. Keep it simple. Don't think that conclusion, I had to conclude in a wonderful way, what should I do? Don't think like this. According to conclusion means writing a paragraph, one or two paragraphs, so that you summarize everything. <coughs> to summarize, you can once again retell whatever you told, you can retell it. Once again, write the same things. <coughs> or you can end with the quotation. If you have, for example, Thomas Jefferson is there. <coughs> I know this quotation. But if you do not have a quotation, don't write it. Anecdotes, quotations are not really important, but my advice is you remember some quotations of environment, women, education, health, say something so that you can use them in any exam. Okay, <coughs> Thomas, Thomas Jefferson once said that <coughs> happiness comes mostly from the tranquility, but not wealth. It's not the wealth that, that gives happiness, it's a tranquility. Similarly, a country also, a peaceful country. A peaceful country is far better than a country which is economically strong but with a lot of internal disturbances and violence. You can tell like something like this. So you write those, those two points, Thomas Jefferson and about the country and then you mention that to achieve this tranquil self for a person, country or world, we require a manifold manifesto as explained above. So we all should strive for it and to overact you can say if you all follow the fundamental duties, if every Indian follows fundamental duties and if every state Every state government follows DPSPs, we can achieve a tranquil India. Some more action, something like that, but it's correct only now. In that way, you can conclude. This is my conclusion. You can conclude another way. Some quotation, something, an impact. Conclusion, because mocks will be given after reading conclusion now. After reading conclusion only, he'll give mocks now. So conclusion should take it like that. Have you seen Ravi, Ravi Dahiya match? Ravi Dahiya, the wrestling match. He won a silver medal now. So finals he lost, leave the finals before. Uh, the semi-finals which, which uh, he wanted to go into finals you know? in semi-finals till the end he will actually miss his points are less only last few minutes he changes the entire thing similarly though your essay is really bad conclusion if you can write a very good conclusion you will get some, some extra marks it gives impact introduction is important because after the introduction only he has to feel to read the entire essay if introduction is ugly very bad still he will read because they are very mature people but generally better to write a good conclusion Okay, this is how we should come to this kind of philosophical essays.